Ya nos vemos. El medio. The CNBC TV 18 Overdrive Awards, now in its 16th year, is India's most coveted awards, are judged by a jury of automotive experts and together they honor the best four and two wheelers launched in India every year. The awards not only honor the best in the auto business, but also puts into perspective the road ahead. With all of the industry stakeholders, manufacturers, policy makers on a single platform, these definitive awards continue to reiterate that the auto world needs to be green and sustainable. So ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself as we bring to you the 16th edition of the CNBC TV 18 Overdrive Awards. 2015, ladies and gentlemen, is a year that the global auto industry will never forget. The Volkswagen debacle raises existential questions, not just for one manufacturer, but for the sector as a whole. This incident clearly shows that there is a deficit of ideas as the sector gets more and more commoditized with technology getting more and more commoditized. Is it really time for the industry to re-engineer itself? Is it time to rethink our ideas of personal mobility? Is it time to look for solutions that are not just sustainable but also accessible? These questions are being debated even here in the national capital as we experiment with ideas to try and give this city its lungs back. Well, as you saw, I couldn't contain my excitement because I wanted to start with the award ceremonies. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's present our first set of awards. And for that, uh, along with Shane, I'll also request Ashish Nehra, who is here with us uh, this evening. Ashish, please come out on stage. And the ambassador of uh, Sweden, Harold Sandberg, and the editor-in-chief of Overdrive, Bert. <laughs> Mr. Ambut Sharma, if you could also come on stage to give away the first set of awards, sir. First award category this evening, the Performance Card of the Year. The winner is Mercedes AMG C63S. not going to let you go very easily, Roland. Uh, performance is the one thing we don't really associate with Mercedes-Benz, but is there some direction that you know, Mercedes is heading in that we don't know about? There is not going to be a big surprise, actually. No, we just found out that basically besides luxury, there's something else that appeals to people emotionally, and especially in automotive cars, and I'm talking to a very selective audience tonight here. Congratulations, Mr. Folger. Let's move on. Our next award for this evening is the Performance Bike of the Year. The winner is Suzuki GSX S1000. So I've got a question for you as well, sir. Suzuki's got uh, one line that is still there in the company, <coughs> the Inuzuma line. Now that you stop making the Inuzuma line, what is that line going to be used for? Yeah, I cannot say. I cannot say right now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Mr. Masha Yossi-san. Our next award category this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is for the import SUV of the year. The winner is Volvo XC90. Tom, I've got a question for you as well. You know, you just come, you've just come into the country very, uh, very, very recently, and you know, this is your first stint with Volvo and the XC90 on this line. And how excited are you about your next product, which is the S90? When is that coming down? Um, the S90. We're at least as excited as uh, for the XC90. So we'll we'll see in the first pictures. We just released released them a couple of days ago, and uh, reception so far has been fantastic. 
Moving on, next is the import motorcycle of the year. The winner is Ducati Scrambler. Ravi, a question for you. What's your next big Make in India push <coughs> for Ducati? Uh, we don't have a clear plan to Make in India yet. Uh, I think we're still in the stage of setting up our network. Lots, lots of performance from you. Thank, thanks, Ravi. Thank you. Now, 1983 gave India its first compact car, the iconic Maruti 800, inspiring a generation of compact cars thereafter. To celebrate the popular category on Indian roads, let's take a look. Compact Car of the Year. The winner is Ford Figo Aspire. Nigel, so between the Figo and the Figo Aspire, two big small products in India. Which way do you think it would have gone? Yeah, I actually think it was the Aspire because, you know, the, the compact sedan, you know, the shape, the overall design for something that's under four meters. And to deliver a vehicle like that that has the interior space and the quality, um, I actually thought that would be the one, to be honest. After this break, find out who takes home the luxury car of the year.